Hey, Ashley, how are you feeling? Excellent. Okay, this is going to be one of those how do you do it kind of uh, modules. This is going to be a lot about Steve pontificating on theoretical frameworks and all this. This is just more, um, I think, fun than it is anything else. Um, we have some issues. By the way, hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, Monday, June 5th, uh, 585ers. We are looking at module three today, user created wiki and YouTube resources. I'm probably going to spend more time in the wiki creation than anything else because as we work through the rest of this course, you will be creating things that end up in your wiki. And then from your wiki, the pages that they reside in, which will all have unique URLs or addresses, those then are what go into the live text that demonstrate that you've done it. It's as simple as that. In our um, first thing that we did where we built the uh, blend space, not the blend space, where we built the picture chart talking about uh, Fullen's uh, book, we used that in an Edmodo, and then I showed you how to take the Edmodo post, get that link, and put it into live text. In the second one where we did a blend space, we essentially did the same thing. We took a blend space and we took that URL and we put that into a Edmodo post and then we took the link to that post and put it into live text. This we are building a thing that stands alone. It's called a wiki. We use wiki spaces because it's the easiest one to work with them. And if you look down through the module here, what you will see is an awful lot about wikis and teachers and so on. But down here where we're actually doing the work, we're going to create a wiki space. Um, we're going to make it a protected wiki space, which is going to be hard for me to demonstrate because there's a hoop that you'll have to jump through if you've never done a wiki before. If you have done a wiki space before, uh, I don't think any of you have, but if you have, just create a new one within the login that you create. And I'll show you what I mean by all that. On this one first home page that we're going to create, we're going to create a Voki that speaks to your overall educational philosophy. The Voki has suddenly gotten weird. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. In the old days, we just logged in as Steve. We created our Voki. We then copied the code, and we put it over into our um, wiki space. Now Voki is requiring me to create accounts for each one of you to have. And the problem is when you go in and create the account, I have to review your Voki and make it available to you to then get the uh, code and, and share it to the wiki space. Uh, so you're going to be sending me a text saying, hey, Steve, I got my Voki done. I'm ready for you to uh, prove it so I can copy it into my wiki space. We're going to create a word cloud based upon the ideas that you will be focused on in this wiki. And this isn't a big deal. Don't make it a big deal, please. Just think about, and I've got the link to the Kentucky Core Standards. Think about a very general link that gives you some words that you can then put together into a word cloud. I will not hold you to the rest of the uh, wiki having to relate back to that. I just want you to see what you could do in terms of how you could set one up so that kids can see this. Now, why are we doing this? Well, let me explain. What we're trying to do here is what Mike talked about in his book, what Dr. Fullen talked about in his book as the skinny. So we're creating something that's going to be a little bit of work on the front end. But the efficiency and the ability then to put information into it that kids can get to becomes a very simple task. 
Um, I taught a class this morning where I told them, and I'm telling you, the hardest things you'll have to learn about using your wiki is I like copy and paste. If you can do those three skills, then you've got it licked because the world then opens up to you that just about all the content you can think of that you would want to put for kids to have access to in and out of your classroom, we can have in a wiki space. And lastly, the YouTube channel. Now, most people have YouTube channels. They may or may not know it. Uh, if you do have a YouTube channel, I will show you how to uh, set it so that if you want to use it as a storage closet, and I would highly recommend you use it that way, that you then can have a, a way to get things out of that closet and put it on your wiki space. I'll give you examples of two people who use YouTube channels as a touchstone of their teaching. Uh, for this, for what we're doing, uh, we don't necessarily have to do that. You will be creating some stuff that you will be uploading to a YouTube channel. So it's not like we're not ever going to do it. I'm just saying that you can, um, if you already have a channel, it's easy enough to go in and set the settings so that it becomes a much safer place to be. Well, let's start off with a wiki. Wikis were first created. Uh, the concept was first uh, thought of by a guy by the name of Jimmy Wales. And what Jimmy was looking for was a way to create a space on the web that people could share to and write to. Crazy, crazy thinking back then. At wikispaces.com, the idea here is that you're going to own a piece of the web. Now, people have asked me in the past who have taken this class, why don't you just let us have a Weebly or any number of other Squarespace, any number of web page development products, some that are free. Why a wiki? Very simple. Wikis are flat HTML. The source code lives right there beneath the surface of your wiki. In fact, you can see it if that sort of thing turns you on, as it does me. Um, you can easily manipulate things within the wiki, given its limitations. Now, that's the bad part about it. The idea of dragging around on the screen, you can't do it. You're going to have to manipulate it by using your keys on your keyboard, enter key, backspace key. Uh, arrow keys, but I'll show you some tricks. To get this started, we're going to go to wikispaces.com and you're going to click on where it says education here. And the first step you have to do is create yourself an account. So you're going to put in a username, an email, and a password, and please, God, please write that down somewhere. Okay. Now, I'm going to jump ahead of you because, of course, I've got a million of these things. And I'm going to go ahead and get into where you're actually creating the wiki. And I'll let Ashley, who's here with us tonight, be kind of our guinea pig. So I've already created a, an account with a username and a password. The email, by the way, is just for them to verify that you're a real person. That's all. You'll see here in a minute they're going to verify that you're a teacher as well or you're in education. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Is that okay, Ashley, for me to move on and sign in? Okay. So I've signed in, and what I'm looking for is to create Wiki. For you, it's probably way up in the upper right-hand corner. For me, because I've got so many of them, it's right down here. So I'm going to create a wiki. It wants to know my industry. Well, duh. Now, for me, I could put higher ed, and you can put K-12. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm K-12 as well. Okay. At this point, what you're basically saying is you're raising your hand to wiki spaces and saying, hey, I'm a teacher. I'm going to go ahead and continue. 
stop at this point under wiki name and think. Your wiki name is your domain name. This is the part of the web that you now own. So you want to put some thought into this. It might look like Smith's class math or Smith math. It might look like, if you're an elementary teacher, Smith grade 3. Okay? You want to put something in here that is descriptive of what you do. Don't just put Smith's wiki space. And it doesn't tell it anybody. And it's probably already been taken. That's the other thing you'll find is a lot of these might be taken. So you might have to play a little bit here. I have a terrible time with this because I've created so many of these fake accounts. So I'm going to say uh, Swan IT. It'll probably spit it out, but what the heck. I live in the United States. It's already there. Down here, as you can see, it already knows that I'm the University of Louisville. If you have a school that you work in, go ahead and put that in here. Like if I were Jim, I could type in Central. And I'd probably have to keep going with Central High School. Looking down here, L-O-U-I-S. Spell it right, you'll find it, Steve. L-O-U-I-S-V-I-L-L-E. There you go. So see, if you just put in your school, it'll find it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back to being University of Louisville. If you don't have a school yet that you work in, just put in University of Louisville. Again, all it's doing here is it's saying, okay, so you told me this is what you do. Under course, you don't have to put anything there. And under grade, you don't have to put anything there, unless you want to. You must, must, must check this box that says, I certify this wiki will be used for education. I've yet to ever have them contact me. And I'm going to say create. And here we are. This is not what you want. This is Wikispace's attempt to be a, look at that, it did take my SWAN IT. It's Wikispace's attempt to be an Edmodo or a Schoology, um, whatever. And it doesn't work very well. But what we want is a wiki. So I'm going to go up here to the upper right to where it says Settings. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go to General. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to say, I want to be a wiki, not a classroom. And I'm going to click on that. Where it says discussions, one discussion per page, well, I don't need that right now. So I'll turn that off. No discussion pages. Now understand, if this wiki makes sense to you, and you actually try using it with your kids at your school, you can turn any of this on or off that you want to. Under search engines, do you want to allow search engines to index your wiki? Yes, you do, because you want people to find your wiki. So if you said to them, my wiki is Smith's Math at Wikispace, or Smith's Math .wikispaces.com, and people can't remember all of that, if all they remember is Smith's Math, they can put it into a Google search. It won't come to the top, but it will be there somewhere. The next one is very important. Force web browsers to, into SSL so that all pages are transmitted securely. Now this is really important because what you want to do is keep your wiki locked down so it doesn't become a conduit for viruses and malware that of course litter the web everywhere. Now all you gotta do is just put that little check in there. So it will not allow anything through your wiki that has not come from a secure site. And you'll see what that means in a minute when we go to work on things. Under Google Analytics, if you have a Gmail account and you would like this thing to keep track of who comes and visits it, go ahead and put it in there. 
And what it will do then is it will keep track of how many uh, visitors you have. It will even give you a sense of where they're from. It can't give you too specific of a sense. But it can even, uh, you can even see IP addresses of where people come from. So that's our first swing. We want to make sure that under general that we change it to a wiki. Make sure your name is what you want because you can change it at this point. You can change it at any point, by the way. Uh, no discussion pages yet. I want to make sure that I can be found by search engines. And I want to turn on my SSL. Use the analytics if I want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. You can come back and turn that back on. And I'm going to save it. Now here comes the part where it takes a while. And I'm not going to dwell too long upon it because this is just one of those things where you just have to kind of go and do it. By default, the wiki is set to private. If it's set to private, I can't see it. So therefore, I'm not going to be able to see the things that you create and put into this wiki that I then can grade. So you're going to want to make it protected. Now, if this is your first wiki you've ever made, you don't see that. But you do see a link there that says verify my wiki. If you click on that link, link, if you click on that link, it will ask you for your phone number. And then it will call you back with a code that you put in that then allows you to change these permissions. Once you get that code back and it allows you to change, you're going to change it to protect it. Now I'll give uh, Ashley a second here. She wants to catch up and do this. It doesn't take any time at all. You click on the link that says verify my wiki. You put in your phone number, they call you back with a code that you put in, and then once it does that, it verifies it. This is really important. Now, worst comes to worst. You can't get them to call you back or something happens, and it stays private. All you have to do is give me the address of it, and I can come in and ask to join it. So I can do that uh, as a you know, last resort if you can't get this protected thing to work. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more. Custom permissions override wiki permissions. Pages and files viewable or ed editable by everyone will be accessible to the public, even on a private one. You can put in here pages. In other words, your pages, as you create them, will show up here. And you can change their permission settings to allow people to come in to edit them. Uh, that's something you would do down the road with kids. Now, under public, okay, good, thank you. Under public, never, 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 one more time, never make a wiki public because anybody and everybody can come in and mess up your wiki. All righty, I'm now going to hit update. And we're almost done. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the look and feel, feel. And this is where you can decide how you want your wiki to look. And I love this because this is where you can really change the design of your wiki. There's the famous... Uh, Steno looking wiki with a spiral notebook. Uh, I kind of go for the content page on the sides because I'm just a old fashioned guy, I guess. But I can come down here and change the colors if I want to. So if I want my colors that go with my wiki to be changed, I can do that right here. And then finally what I do when I get that decided, I hit apply. And then it shows me what it's all going to look like up here. Now, I'll wait just a second here. So at this point, let's review. We've gone in and we've set it to be a wiki under general. We've set our permissions to be protected. 
we went in and we decided how we wanted it to look under themes and colors. Logo. Logo is kind of cool. So if you want to put a logo to your wiki page, the way it works is you have your logo, your, your graphic, that you want to use as your top of your wiki space. Now, realize that you have to be extremely careful with what it looks like. Uh, it has to be wide and narrow. And I guess that's the best way to describe it. Um, I'll see if I have one here. And if I don't, I'll just jump in and grab one, and I'll show you what it can look like and why you don't want it to look like that. So I don't have one. So I'll go over to pictures, sample pictures, and I'll grab my old friend, the koala bear. And I'm going to now make the koala bear my top of my wiki space. And as you can see, he blows it up because he's so big. It's not the end of the world. I just go back here and reset it to default. But, you know, if you're trying to design a cute wiki page for elementary kids, uh, and I know plenty of teachers who have used these with their classes. They design them with cute logos at the top. So it just kind of adds a nice touch to their wiki. I just went ahead and reset mine to default. I'm all set now. I'm going to save that. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to click on Wiki Home. And what I'm looking at here when I do this is the wiki must have something on each page. Remember that, especially if you're the kind of work-ahead individual who wants to go in and start creating the different pages for the different modules that we'll be doing. You'll notice it actually has writing here. The writing is important because it's telling you that something is there. The web hates the null set. The web hates nothing. So if we don't have something on the page, the page cannot be saved. So right now, I don't want this on my page. I'm going to hit Edit, and I'm going to wipe all this out. Let's look at what we have across the top. The first one, two, three buttons are familiar to anybody who's done a word processor. They are your bold, italicized, underline. Your fourth button is how you get into how you want fonts to be. I'm going to set mine on uh, Times New Roman. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to play with by hitting on the size. And I can preview the sample down at the bottom. And I'm going to apply that. And this is where in the assignment it says, this is my wiki where we can show all, all of my work in EDAP 585. Fix your spelling mistakes just like I'm doing. I am 585. <laughs> okay, I can highlight that. I can go up here and I can change it if I want to. Pick a different font. Oh, heck, let's do it. Comic Sans, anybody? Comic Sans. And then I'll apply the styles. And there we are. Okay. This page now has something new on it that's me. So if I save it, it's kind of hard to see here. If I save it, there I am. Now, no one but you is going to see that edit button when you go to this wiki. Okay? But for you to get to the edit button, you have to log in to your wiki space account. And then you can see the wiki that you have created. All right, let's jump back here and see what we're supposed to do with this. It says you will create a virtual classroom through the use of a personal wiki 
that becomes your exploration of the issues surrounding the use of technology integrated into education. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a Vokey, or you may go into the sign generator, <coughs> which is where that came from, the alphabet soup picture up here. And you're going to create something that you put into your wiki space. Now, to go back to this and to go back to the edit, let's explore the rest of the settings across the page. You can ignore the normal. That's a holdover from uh, original HTML. The next one is exactly what it looks like. It's a numbered list, and that's how you can put a, a paragraph in. If you want to break it into uh, numbered points, you can then highlight it and hit this button. Or you can hit this button, and every time you hit the enter key, it'll give you a new number. Bulleted list is the same idea, except with bullets instead of uh, numbers. The line is how you can put a horizontal line across your page. Here's where we get to the meat. This is how you put pictures in. This is how you'll put in your word cloud. You insert a link. And you do that either as a file or a web address. We're going to do it as a, um, excuse me, you're going to do it as a file. And you're going to put in the link text. So I'll say Apple. And then I can put in the address. APPLE.com, and then I can add the link. And it gives me this little linky thing right there. Now, we're not going to do this very much at all. What we're going to do is the next one over, which is a file. This is how we'll get your word cloud in. We're going to upload a word cloud and stick it in here. Right now, let's just go back to my example, and let's put in my little buddy, the koala bear again. So all I had to do was to go and find that thing I want to upload. And by the way, this works with Word documents, PDFs, PowerPoints. Doesn't matter what you put into it. It brings it in, and you can share it. So I'm going to insert that file. And click on him. Now I have my big old picture here on my page. Now, I can't do anything with this picture. <coughs> In other words, I can't move it around on the page. It will not move. Only way I can move it is put the cursor above it or in front of it and hit the Enter key, and I can push it down the page. I can use the backspace to pull it up the page. I can grab its ears to make it smaller so that it fits better on my page. And that's all I've got in terms of moving and uh, fitting the picture into my page. This is, like I said, basic HTML. <laughs> it wasn't until we got into page mill from Adobe that we had the ability to move things around on the screen like that. All right. So let's go ahead and I'll get rid of that picture because we're not going to be using uh, koala bears. It says, though, that what we are going to do is we're going to create a Vokey. Now, the Vokey gets put in through the use of this last one, which is the widget. This icon essentially drops us into this, my goodness, tons of things you can put into your wiki. Right now, all we're worried about is something called other HTML. And in here, this is where we're going to find code from other sources. We're going to paste it in here. And when we do that and we save it, it will then bring over whatever it is that we found. Now, if you do this with uh, videos from YouTube, it's as simple as right-click on the video from YouTube, copy embed code. It says it right there, embed code. Bring it in here. Click on your little TV set, other HTML, and it comes in. Now, I'll give you an example. 
So if I go back up here to our good friends, well, I can even use mine. So if I wanted to copy Hello this there, everyone. YouTube video, all I have to do is right-click on it, copy embed code, come over here, pay attention to where your cursor is. So I'm going to make it fit right there. I'm going to go over here to my widget, other HTML, right click, paste, save, and save again. And now all of a sudden, content that was somewhere else is now here. The point is, you could go into YouTube. Find the videos that you want your kids to see. Control what they see, in other words. You can have a whole page dedicated to videos from YouTube on such and such and such and such. You control what they see. How many can you put on? As many as you want. Remember, copyright laws, everything that's in YouTube is under what's called Creative Commons licensing structure which means it's free for you to use and use again. The only thing you have to be careful about is you don't want to create a wiki that you then sell to other people that contains copyrighted material from YouTube. Otherwise, you are free to use whatever is there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Edit and get rid of this little square box. All right, now let's go make a Voki. So a Voki is nothing more than a way for you to create a little avatar of yourself. Now, since Ashley's here with me tonight, I'm going to let Ashley go in to the Voki.com as me. So Ashley, up here in the upper right where it says log in, if you will sit there and log in as sbswan02 at louisville.edu, sbswan02 at louisville.edu, and then come down here to password, and that will be ulit241. Now, if you log in with my name, you're probably going to get a message that says, I'm trying to decipher what you wrote down here. S slash question mark or D question mark? What were you asking me there? Oh, sorry. S, B is in boy. S W A N zero two at Louisville.edu. Stephen Bryan. And the password is all lowercase, one word, U L I T two four one. Tell me if you get in. Yes. You go ahead and tell it to disconnect from other. Uh, that's because I had logged in before class. Tell it to disconnect from all devices, and you'll be able to work. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out here, and I'm going to use someone's login that I have set up for the class. Uh, I'll go ahead and use Jill's. So, Jill, you are jtedder780. So, I'm going to log in as you. jtedder780. And everybody's password is the same, EDAP585. Now, the reason why we're doing this sort of... Uh, 
schizophrenic way here is that when you come in and you use your username and password, what's going to happen is that it's going to give you an assignment from the class. You see, I'm up here. And I already went ahead and made a quick down and dirty one so that I can show you the process. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to let me get into this and play. Um, and then what you're doing is you're going to be basically building a Voki that expresses your educational philosophy. The first thing you'll have to do is decide on what you want it to look like. And when you do that, I'm looking for mine here. When you do that, you're going to pick a character, and then on that character, you're going to decide what your face is going to look like. You're going to pick somebody who looks like you, hair color. You can change everything, hair color, eyes, and all of that. And then you're going to uh, put some, change the clothes that they might be wearing, add glasses or necklaces, whatever you want to do. So that's your first step, is creating that. Your second step is then you tell it that you're done with that, and then it's waiting for you to put in what you want it to say. Click on the keyboard icon. Look at what your voice is. Play with what you want it to say. Play with the voices. Do you get one that's right for you? And I'll sit here and see what's going on, why I can't get chills to let me edit it. Let's go try somebody else. Let's do Eric's. I guess Eric will be a first timer. And I will come up here and I'll say goodbye to Jill. And I'm going to log in as Eric. Password is EDAP585, all lowercase. And as you can see, Eric's ready now to go in here. By the way, Jill, I'll get rid of that one that's in there <laughs> so you can do this. So you log in, and then you click on the little pencil, and now you can edit. So at this point, notice the eyes follow you wherever you go. You're basically going to start up here with finding the head that you want to be or the person, and you can jump through all these different kinds of symbols. I've had people do animals, which is fine. Up to you. Uh, I think there's even a Trump one in here somewhere. Don't do that one. There's the dogs. And there's the cats. There's the storks. Um, you get the idea. You're finding something that looks like you. I'll go with that guy. And I can change his color of his hair if I want to. I can change his skin. I can change his eyes. I can make his mouth bigger. I can make his nose bigger. I can make his body bigger. You see what I'm doing. I can make his lips bigger. <laughs> I can make him bald, which sort of fits me. I can play with the mustache look. Maybe I'll come back and do it that way. And then I'll say I'm done. And now I'll move on to the clothes. That's the only choice it gives me. 
in Bling, if I want it, I'll say I'm done. And now I'm going to record what my philosophy is. Like I said, you can play with how you want your voice to sound. And you click on the little triangle here. Any smarter than all of us. Oh dear, I sound so British. I'll go back. I don't think I want to be Fiona. And I'll find the voice that I like. No one of us is any smarter than all of us. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fiona. I didn't realize it was you. All right, I got Dave. I got it. No one of us is any smarter than all of us. All right. So I've done the body, the face, the hair, the whole nine yards. I'm now going to do a done again. And I'm going to save it. And I can come back in here, and I can edit it again by clicking on that little pencil. Now, gang, here's the problem. Now, this is not your problem, actually, because you've logged in as me. So at the point when you do done, you're going to see that there is um, a way for you to publish, and you want to get the embed code, which will look like the two little carrots two little triangles facing each other. That is where your embed code will live. The rest of you are going to have to send me an email or a text, and you're going to have to say, can you approve my little Vokey? When I get that, I will approve it, and then you can have access to your Vokey. Now, Eric and Jill, when you all log in, you're going to hit the edit button, even though there's a thing here already. You're going to hit the edit button, and then you can go in here and fix all this that I screwed up. So don't worry about there's something here already. You can get rid of it. When you're finished, you're going to need me to approve you, and then you can get access to the uh, ability to share it, and then you're going to share it as embed code, and when you do that embed code, are you wanting to close up shop soon? Uh, well, uh, we're, uh, we've already got everything closed up. Oh, okay. So, uh, do you know how much longer you need? 630. 630? Mm -hmm. All right, I think I can do that. All right. So, you're going to put this, once you get it done, you're going to let me know, and then I can approve it so you can get the code out. Ashley, are you able to get your code out? Okay, that's all right. You go right ahead and play. Now, I've just had the gentleman walk in and tell me that he needs to close down the ERTC, so I'm very quickly going to show you how to do the next two things which is using the Kentucky Core Standards to make it a word cloud. How you do that is you click on Kentucky Core Standards. It will take you to the Kentucky Academic Standards. I'm going to look at the ones that have to do with mathematics, or I can look at the ones that have to do with content standards. It's up to you. Pick the one that you're most comfortable with. I'll tell you what, since I do technology, let's do that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through here and find what the standards are for teaching technology. And it looks like I'm in elementary school. Now, 
I don't need you to go in here and do all this, okay? All I need you to do is to do the, the big idea, in other words, the standard. I don't need expe expectations. I don't need indicators. All I'm going to do is highlight that and copy it. I'm going to now go to the link that says ABC your word cloud. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to click on the button. And it says word cloud start. And it's waiting for me to paste in my words. There they are. I'm going to go ahead now. Since I have all the words in, I want it to take all of this and turn it into a word cloud for me. Very simple to do. So I'm going to make sure I've got everything in here. And I'm going to click on make it a word cloud. Up here where it says create. And what it does is it takes those words that I put in there and it puts them into a structure where it looks for words that, are, that have a frequency. So the bigger words in the cloud are the words that are the most important words based upon what it thinks is the structure. And there it is. So it says students technology. Well, okay, good deal. Once I get that, I can go over here to Menu, and I can now save it. And I'm going to save the file. OK. And it gave me the, the ability. I'd save it to my desktop, which it didn't, but I know where it went to, so I'll go find it. Now, let's jump back to our wiki space, and that's where we'll stop for tonight. And next time I see you, we'll pick this up. It won't take us long to finish it. I'm going to come over here to that file. I'm now going to go find my word cloud that I just downloaded. So I'll go into my downloads. There it is, my cloud. I'm going to open that. And I'm going to click on it. And now it has put my word cloud into my wiki space. Simple as that. I can click on it and make it bigger, smaller, depending upon how I want it to fit. And then I'll do a save again to keep everything happy. There you go. So let's stop there for the evening. And let's review. You are going to be making a wiki space. You need to, in the wiki space, create a Vokey. You will need to let me know when you have created your Vokey, when you log in as your username and password, which is right there in the module. Create it and let me know you've created it. I will go in and approve it, and then you can copy the code of it out and put it in your wiki space here, which I've already shown you how to do that. All you do is copy the code, and then you go into Edit, Widgets, Other HTML, paste in the code here, save it, and then it appears out here. Um, we'll do next week, we'll start off with finishing all this up, and then I will show you how to do the Glanimate, which is more fun than a box of puppies. Um, and then we'll be ready to start building new things to put into our wiki space. We're not that far behind you all, don't worry. Uh, and I'll do a very quick uh, down and dirty, creating a YouTube channel and show you how to put stuff into it. Alrighty.
Thank you for being here tonight, uh, Ashley. Appreciate you. As always, if you need me for any of this, I'm just a text message away at 502-457-2937. See you next Monday.